The region's poised for a Hyperloop revolution. The Hyperloop, the Hyperloop, the Hyperloop. A lot of folks are talking about Hyperloop these days. The near mythical mode of travel could cut journey times dramatically. Los Angeles to Las Vegas in 30 minutes, London to Edinburgh in 41, or Dubai to Abu Dhabi in just 12. In a world where time is money, this energy efficient solution seems like a radical game changer and global heavyweights are racing to make this pipe dream a reality. Dubai, with its tech-savvy economy and abundance of capital, is one of the cities leading the pack. But if they do succeed, what will the payoff really be? Before we get to that, let's start with just what is Hyperloop technology? Hyperloop is an idea that was thrown up originally by Elon Musk. I have a name for it, name for it which is called the Hyperloop. The Hyperloop? Uh, Hyperloop, yeah. And it is basically land transport at the speed of an aircraft, so 600 miles an hour on land through tubes which have been evacuated. That's John Miles, a transport expert from Cambridge University. His description of Hyperloop may sound incredible, but it's possible. A company called Virgin Hyperloop One has even done a test run. We're the only company in the world to have created a full-scale uh, test facility uh, in uh, Nevada. We've proven all our systems work together in a, uh, a vacuum environment. The big challenge for anyone wanting to build a Hyperloop is its cost. After that, it's finding the land to build on and the political will to do it. Dubai has the money, land and desire. That's why Virgin Hyperloop One is setting up shop there. We're actually setting up our first office outside of the US in Dubai. A Hyperloop system will provide about 1% of additional GDP to a region within the UAE. The trick to Hyperloop is magnetic levitation. You know when you push the same poles of two magnets together and they repel? That repelling is basically it. Except one set of magnets is on a rail and the other on a train. All you need is a way of making it go forward. And that's where guys like Rupert Cruz hum in. Rupert, take one. His company Magway makes the motors needed to push the train forward. The motor system is, is essentially a group of electric coils and, and we group these in a certain configuration. These basically set up a, a travelling magnetic wave, a bit like an unbroken wave uh, that is coming into the beach. And then uh, what is mounted to the vehicle is a magnet array of uh, very high strength uh, permanent magnets. Um, and this magnet array basically surfs uh, the, 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 the travelling magnetic wave created by the electric coils. As the train does not touch the track, there is less friction. And if you remove the air resistance by putting the whole thing in a vacuum tunnel, you have a train system that can potentially travel up to 600 miles per hour. And that speed could fundamentally change society. There are a lot of people who think this will never come to fruition. And I'm sure there were many people who said, you know, man will never fly, uh, man will never run on the, uh, uh, on the railways, and man would never dig canals. But we did all of those things. Who knows who is right? My opinion is that it is doable. Hyperloop represents a step change, uh, as big a change as the railways did originally when they superseded the canals. Virgin Hyperloop One has attracted the attention of Dubai-based logistics giant DP World, and they have partnered up to create DP World Cargo Speed, turning the focus from public transport to freight. Our future ports will integrate Hyperloop technology for synchronized, seamless, intelligent movement of cargo. For us now, it's exciting to have DP World on board because we're really looking at understanding what's going to happen in freight and logistics in the next 50 years. And a lot of people think Hyperloop will be in use long before that time scale. In, in, in terms of Hyperloop, uh, it's a question of when. Are we talking five years? Are we talking 10 years? Are we talking 15 years? Uh, but definitely within the next 20 years.